In this lesson, we're going to look at a few more examples that involve discounts. First one here says a GPS system has been reduced in price by $6.40. This discount is 8% off the original price. So what is the original price? So hopefully, uh, based on this keyword here, original, we realize that the unknown is the base, right? So, um, you know, again, looking at amount equals percent times base. The base is our unknown, so we'll have x over here. And uh, the only amount that we have to work with is this $6.40, right? And so I'm just going to put 6.4 for the purposes of solving the equation. And so remember, whenever we're looking for the base, we need to decide whether the amount that we're given and the percent we're given um, represent the same thing. And if not, then we make some adjustments to the percentage. So, you know, what is $6.40? Well, it's been reduced in price by $6.40, so that is literally the amount of the discount. So what is 8%? Well, 8%, it says, this discount is 8% off the original price. So that is literally the percent of the discount. So they are representing the same thing. This is giving the amount of discount. This is giving the percent of discount. So since they represent the same thing, I can just put 0 0.08 in that spot. And of course, divide both sides by 0 0.08 and so we've got 6.4 and we need to divide by 0 0.08 of course we'll move that decimal point to the right two places in each number And so the division problem that we really have to complete here is 640 divided by 8. Now 8 does not go into 6, but it goes into 64 exactly 8 times. And then we have a 0 left over here and a remainder of 0, so that means we just need to add a 0 here. So what we get is that the original price of of this GPS system was $80. All right. Moving to this next example, it says if an item is on sale for three, $384.20 and has been discounted 15%, how much was it originally? So again, that word originally indicating we're looking for the base. So we're going to have an amount equals a percent times our base. Okay, and the only amount we have to work with is $384.20. So I'm just going to put 384.2 here right now. And so again, we'll make that check that we did earlier of do the amount and the percent represent the same thing. So 384.20, what is that? Well, that is um, certainly not the amount of the discount, right? That is the sale price, right? So that's the sale price. What does 15% represent? Right, well, this represents the discount percent. So clearly, our percent and our amount are not representing the same thing right now. Uh, this is representing the amount of the sale price. This is re representing the percent of the discount. So sale price and discount are not the same thing. So what can we do? Well, again, we can adjust this percent so that it becomes the percent of the sale price. Okay. So if you have a 15% discount, what percent of the original is uh, is the sale price? Well, that would have to be the full percentage minus the discount percentage 
which it would be 85%. Okay, so this would be the sale price percent. So we can put 85% in here as 0 0.85 and we'll take 384.2 equals uh, well and divide by 0 0.85 on both sides okay and we've got some division to do so 384 0.2 divided by 0 0.85. Here's a situation where we got to move that decimal over. So that decimal moves over to the right two places. Move over to the right two places and the dividend. So the division problem we really need to do is 38,420 divided by 85. Now 85 does not go into 3, it does not go into 8, um, it goes into 384, how many times? I'm going to say 4 times. So 4 times 5 is 20, and 4 times 8 is 32, plus 2 is 34. And so we have a remainder of 44, we drop down our 2, um, let's see 85 is going to go into 442 5 times. 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 8 plus 2 is 42. So we have a remainder of 17, drop down to 0, and 85 goes into 170 exactly 2 times. So what this means is that the item originally cost 400 Fifty-two dollars.